Festival Director, MDNFDC and JS in the Ministry of Information and Broadcast Festival of India, which started in 1990 as the Bombay International Film Festival. And now, uh, uh, earlier it was done by the Films Division. Uh, every two years it used to be done. And uh, now NFDC, which is the integrated organization, the merged organization, is going to do it for the first time. So this is the first time when the MIF is being done by the uh, uh, by the National Film Development Corporation. So this, in this uh, edition, next please. So this is the glimpses of the next edition, previous edition. So uh, this is this is this year's MIF. We are very happy to announce again that we have received a uh, record number of submissions for any MIF and uh, out of which we have showcased a total of 314 films and we will give away the prize worth 42 lakhs and uh, the country participation here this time is 59 countries of participation which is almost double the number of uh, countries which participated last year and total 61 languages films will be screened and this is for the first time and it is the initiative of Honorable Secretary Sir that we are having this festival not just in Mumbai but also at the same time the parallel screenings will also take place in Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai and Pune. So, and uh, uh, the MIF selections this year we are also proud to announce that we have uh, 8 world premieres, 5 international premieres, 18 Asia premieres and 21 India premieres. Next please. The, there is always a special theme in the MIF out of which some national competition films are selected. This time the national, uh, the special theme was given as Amrit Kal. We received several entries and six films have been finally showcased which will be judged by the national competition jury for giving an award. Then again, we would just like to emphasize that with their various special packages from uh, Mission Life films which are based on the uh, uh, mission Lifestyle for Environment, which has been the clarion call given by Honorable Prime Minister. And there are several other packages, including words, one of the best packages from Oscar uh, Award uh, entry films to Berlin Alley short films. So it's, it's a wonderful package which we have curated of 314 films. Next please. So this again, animation packages from uh, uh, 47 films will be there, student films from uh, 45 films from 13 different colleges, not just Indian film colleges like FTI, SRFTI and uh, Whistling Woods, but also world's one of the most prominent colleges like Babelsberg, Babelsberg Film School, Germany. So all those films are participating in this. The opening film is uh, Billy and Molly, which is going to be showcased at 2.30 p.m. tomorrow at the NFTC uh, Film Division Complex in Mumbai. And at the same time, it's going to be showcased all at all the other venues where the um, where the screenings are happening. Next, please. And this is the Midfest film, which has uh, uh, which has got a very acclaimed director, and uh, this will be showcased in in FT Complex on the 18th. Next. These are the awards. These are the listing of the awards, and we are very proud. Next, please. We are very proud that we have uh, we have been able to put together very very eminent jury from all across the world, from Singapore, from France, from uh, so all the filmmakers associated with the documentary or the animation part of the filmmaking or short filmmaking. We've been able to put to put together a, a very very important and eminent jurist. So that is one international jury which will uh, judge 25 international competition films. There's a national jury of eminent filmmakers which will judge the 77 national competition films. Next please. The Pyongyang film, so we have, uh, we have not just partnered with an NGO called Swayam which makes the whole venue of the film festival accessible but, uh, 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 but after that we have also decided that we will include a package of films which are specially curated for differently able people like visually impaired, they will have films with audio descriptions which they can see specifically curated for them. For hearing impaired also, we will have films 
with Indian sign language and closed captions so that they can uh, enjoy the film. And in fact, I'm very happy to announce that there will be a one film crossover for the visually impaired, which will not, uh, which will have a live dance performance in Indian sign language by a dancer, so that they can understand and relate with the film. Thank you. Next. So these are the opening and closing ceremonies which we are going to have in the NCPA auditorium from 5:30 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, the opening ceremony will be held on the 21st. The closing ceremony will be held, and uh, uh, we are very glad to announce that the uh, that the cultural performances from Sri Lanka will also be held. And apart from that, uh, the 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 Khan's awarded film, student film uh, of FTII, will also be showcased in the cultural function. So this is just a glimpse of the red carpet. Uh, uh, besides the opening red carpet tomorrow at uh, two two o'clock, we will also have red carpets every day. Two red carpets in the NFTC FD complex, wherein we'll be showcasing films which are close to the festival, like Poacher. It's a real inspired film, and uh, so the director Richie Mehta, who's an acclaimed director from Delhi Delhi Crimes and uh, many such series which he has made, he will be coming and associating inside out uh, two is getting released uh, tomorrow in the theater so that will also have a red carpet and like that we have uh, come out with several red carpets we'll give you the list also next so this time it was decided that not just the celebration of documentary and animation genre but it, there should also be some business associated along with the festival so this is the first time MIF is also having a first docu film bazaar in which projects have been selected from several entries. They will get a chance to showcase their projects in the co production market, in the work in progress lab, and also the viewing room will be showcasing a, a lot of finished and unfinished films for uh, various sales agents, marketing agents, and distributors, and also the festival programmers to be able to pick up content from there. And this is uh, this is all happening in this space where documentary films have started to do really well across the world and uh, uh, the reports are, some, uh, some of the reports which published for the last year's viewership said that documentaries had an increase from 14 to 18.5% of the viewership all across the world and also that Indian documentaries have been doing really well. Uh, uh, the uh, Indian documentary recently won Oscar awards, as we all know, the Elephant Whisperer. Even uh, Miss Pail Kapadia, who's been, who's got the Khan's Film Award, she also had made several documentaries, which were, which were also selected in various film festivals. So that becomes important. These are the panel discussions uh, which will be held, and you can see many of the eminent uh, filmmakers and uh, film fraternity will be coming here. Even Mr. Santosh Shivan, who recently got an award at Cannes as the best cinematographer in the world this year, he's also coming here and he'll be taking a master class in the uh, Mumbai campus. And there are several other people, very, very acclaimed from across the world, who will be taking master classes. So that will happen every day from 10 o'clock to 6 p.m. in the FD campus. So we will have several open forums we identified with the help of uh, IDPA has partnered for this, Indian Documentary Producers Association. And uh, they, they have, uh, we have curated five topics on which you know, current discussions along the documentary and animation genre uh, will be held with eminent people coming in the panels, five, five people per panel. Next. This is the campus which we have and we assure you that Mumbai rains are already on and uh, we see the weather changing. But once you are inside the campus, we promise you that you won't get drenched. Everything has been rain shaded and you can travel from one venue to another uh, under the rain shed. And it's a very, very vibrant campus. I invite all of you to be a part of it and not just enjoy, enjoy the films, also see the master classes there and also be a part of the overall celebration. And I would also like to tell you that in the film bazaar, there we are putting up about 22 pavilions, out of which about 10 pavilions are of different countries, which are showcasing their film policies and uh, uh, and uh, some states also participating. 
and also there is a VFX tech and animation pavilion out in which about 10 15 stalls 15 stalls will be there which which sort of uh, you know uh, take the filmmakers visiting the pavilions uh, through the latest technologies so that will be very very engrossing for them so yeah all of this has been possible because of the lot of partnership from the industry so we are very thankful to all the partners next please this time this is the first time that not just the portal www.mif.in has been made very interactive and very immersive so everything can be found there from catalog to timetables and also that we have in, for the first time in MIF we have introduced a mobile app which you can download from both the stores Google and iOS and it will help you to book the tickets also and even the badge will be available on that uh, uh, on that mobile app so you can attend any of the screenings or any of the events after you've registered next so delegate registration uh, uh, is already on and we have already surpassed more than 5,000 delegate registrations and we hope that by the time we start the festival, it will be much more. And uh, this is... again request that all of you go out and uh, put this across to the people who want to attend this film festival and engage with us and thank you so much for your support. Thank you Prithun for taking us through what lies ahead in, in the 18th edition of MIF. Now I like to request Secretary INV Sri Sanjay Januji to kindly address the gathering. Good evening, uh, friends, and uh, namaskar. So it's indeed a matter of great privilege that uh, tomorrow onwards we are going to set the ball rolling for the Mumbai International Film Festival. All of you know this is uh, arguably one of the biggest festivals in the world for documentaries, short films, and uh, now animation films as well. And we've been doing it, uh, friends, for close to 30 years now. And this is going to be the 18th edition. This is the biennial event, as all of you are aware. And the idea for uh, today's press conference was to a, take you through the entire program that our Joint Secretary and uh, Managing Director of National Film Development Corporation presented. And at the same time, uh, make a special invite for all of you, to, for not just yourself, your family members, but to spread the word around for the industry and uh, those who are interested in cinema, cinema of this kind as well, documentaries, short films, animation films, etc. And you may invite them to this biggest ever. We can, our, we can safely say that this is the biggest ever with a lot of new things happening for the first time. As was mentioned, uh, we're not just doing it in Mumbai, although the brand is Mumbai International Film Festival, but we are also holding parallel screenings in other cities. We are holding it, they're holding them in Delhi, in Chennai, in Kolkata, in Pune. At the same time, uh, first time a film bazaar is also being organized otherwise these festivals used to be mainly for people like us I mean those who have passion for movies those who like movies but here for the first time this provides a lot of opportunities to all the independent filmmakers who would not find market for their uh, ways and products so they will be able to come here to the festival participate in dialogues hold B2B conversations and effectively uh, give themselves a platform through which they will be able to take their products 
up the value chain. That means find a buyer or maybe find, uh, uh, and, and there are a lot of uh, films which are, uh, are still in the production. That means they're kind of work in progress. So that means find people who could partner them to complete those projects. A lot of you would argue, you know, why, why, do we, why, why is it that, you know, as government of India, we organize such festivals and what is the objective? You know, the whole objective of organizing such festivals is to uh, not just promote uh, art, not just promote cinema. As all of you are aware that, you know, cinema is one of our arguably cricket and cinema. I think these are the two C's that possibly uh, occupy our mind space when it comes to entertainment. But it's not just that. You know, this also is a, and this particular event, uh, for instance, in which you have, have the documentaries and the short films, it also holds a, you know, allows us to hold a mirror in front of us and provides us opportunities to, you know, look at issues that are topical, issues that have, uh, uh, that have, that have socio-economic uh, import and, you know, for us as policy makers, it also allows us opportunity to look at those issues and find solutions because this is kind of real cinema, uh, not the fiction variety that we all are used to. So, uh, so friend, this it's indeed a, a great opportunity for all these cities, especially Mumbai, because it's not just going to be the screenings as was mentioned. You have a complete program lineup. This is the kind of screening schedule. There have uh, been close to thousand entries this year. I think the highest ever in the competition section, both the international as well as the national uh, competitions. At the same time, there are uh, a lot of sections which uh, complete this entire schedule starting from 15th and going on till 21st of June this year. Sathi, uh, uh, our joint secretary has told us that we are trying to do this in accessibility ke aspect and that's why this time is with the NGO स्वयं के साथ में जो हमारी भागीदारी है, वो भागीदारी हमें ensure करेगी हमें इस बात की बहुत खुशी है कहने में कि हमारा जो पूरा venue रहेगा इस बार for our differently able people it will be you know fully accessible venue so that's that's one of the first that's also happening in in this particular event. As was mentioned, our uh, opening film uh, uh, is going to be a, uh, it's an utter love story. Uh, if you want, you can see the trailer of that uh, movie. It's available on uh, various platforms, on OTT platforms. And uh, it's a hour and a half, right? Yes. And it's, 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 it's been released recently. And uh, so this is the first time this is premiering in India. So I think all of you would hearing है उनके लिए जिसमें Indian sign language में PIP चलेगा साथ में film के ताकि जो भी dialogues बोले जा रहे हैं वो sign language के थ्रा उसे समझ सके और कुछ film में ऐसी भी चलाई जाएंगी जिसमें आप पीछे voice over रहेगा और पीछे क्या हो रहा है background में apart from just the dialogues एक special चीज है जो एक crossover नाम की film है उसमें एक dance artist आएंगी और वो perform करेंगी Indian sign language में ताकि जो 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 सुन नहीं सकते वो देख रहे हैं उस फिल्म को वो उस फिल्म को समझ सके उसके भाव समझ सके सो दैट इज़ दी काइंड ऑफ इनिशिएटिव जो डिटेल स्क्रीनिंग शेड्यूल है जो सर ने दिखाया ये ऐप पे भी मौजूद है ये पोर्टल पे भी मौजूद है और ये जो अभी आपको एक प्रेस किट दिया जाएगा उसमें भी वील पुट दी स्क्रीनिंग शेड्यूल एंड ऑल्सो दी कैटेलॉग विच विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द फिल्म जो दूसरा बुकलेट थैंक यू सो मच मैं एक चीज़ और बोलना चाहूँगा that जो सर प्लेटफॉर्म के बारे में कह रहे थे एम्फोसाइज कर रहे थे, I would also like to emphasize कि पायल का पारिया was also in MIF in 2016 सर, she won an award. In 2020 also she was there in MIF and she won an award and now she has landed up in Cannes and also made India proud by winning an award there.